Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a video on how I set up my models for uh, printing the 3D um, 3D models for the 6mm uh, Crusaders. Had a couple people ask kind of how I do things, so um, I decided to show you my process. So the um, program that I use is Chi2 Box. It comes with the Elegoo Mars uh, printer. Uh, you can see I've already kind of gotten uh, a couple of the rows there. I got a couple of the... Um, <clears throat> command stands that I'm printing off as well. Um, you can see that the models that I make, they come with some supports underneath of them already for the spears. But what I've found over time is that it's really good if you go ahead and print with a platform and supports underneath of them. So Cheeto Box has just a setting that's easy to do. I put it on the lightest setting. Uh, I take the density, which is the number of uh, supports down to about 25%, 26%. And then I, uh, the contact diameter, I reduce down just a little bit as well. Um, sometimes Chi2 Box decides to add in a couple extra supports uh, in there, which I don't think are necessary. I've never printed them with them. So all I do is delete those. And then I go back to the uh, normal. And all I do is duplicate this a number of times that I want. So, and then what I do is I line them up and actually connect them together in Chi2 box so that when they print off, they're actually printing off in strips. So I find it's really easy to kind of get off the uh, print plate when you do it this way. And then it's very easy I find to uh, get the miniatures off of these supports um, and when you print them. So sometimes printing them directly onto the uh, print plate causes uh, distortions in the models. Sometimes it makes it a little bit weaker and then sometimes it's just a little bit hard to to get directly off of there. So when the uh, when these prints you can see that the platform there has a slight angle to it, so it's easier to get your blade or whatever you have underneath of there to uh, really peel those off. So then, of course, make sure in your settings that you have it set for the uh, resin that you're using. And all I do is slice it up and then save it to a thumb drive. And, of course, then I take it over to my... Uh, Chi2 or my my Elegoo Mars um, thing. So uh, let's see if I can show you show you what I got here. So this is just my little setup for my uh, corner space. So you can see I'm printing off some models now, and then this is just how I clean the models afterwards. So that is just kind of the dirty container. So that's kind of the first wash. It's got 99%. Uh, alcohol in it and then this is kind of the uh, clean one and that uh, gets it a little bit more pristine and then you can see I just got like a little cheap box down here that I have uh, made it's got the uh, UV light in there and I just uh, have a piece of uh, board underneath of there that has the just aluminum foil on it so it seems to work pretty well um, and then I just, uh, bring them over here to my table and, uh, set them up for, um, printing. So you can see that they print off, I think, very nicely, um, print off in rows and then it's really easy to paint. And then all you got to do. I find after you get them painted um, is just come in with an X-Acto knife and just very gently, well, not even really that gently, um, peel them off from, from those supports underneath. And they just seem to come off very, very simple for me. So that's the process that I use. Um, I thought that it might be handy for you guys to see. I've really kind of come to appreciate in the last uh, few weeks 
just uh, how you can use supports and how they can really help you to get uh, better prints, especially uh, with the, the resin printers. So um, I have a friend, I'm printing up a bunch of models for him to, to use um, for one of his armies he's making. So that is uh, kind of just a very simple step through on how I print off uh, my models. So I hope that helps you guys. We'll talk to you later.